We told you last night about the incredible safe return to Earth of a group of skydivers in Wisconsin. It turns out five of them had cameras on their helmets and the terrifying moments they endured 12,000 feet in the air as one of the planes burst into flames is as spellbinding as it is amazing. They say they had no time to react, but as Robin Stickley reports, what they did saved their lives. At 12,000 feet, helmet cameras capture the skydivers waiting for the count when disaster strikes. Seconds later, their aircraft slams down onto the lead plane below. All I heard was uh, Trish scream horrifically and I just had enough time to look over my shoulder and see white, which wasn't right, and then get pinned. The collision crushes skydivers between the Cessnas. They're terrifyingly close to the plane's propeller blades. Then a fireball. The second plane bursts into flames. The explosion sucks this jumper's hands from the strut. All nine skydivers scatter into a freefall and a new danger. Now they're dodging fiery debris at nearly 200 kilometers an hour. Straight out of a Bond movie, two of the freefallers chase the wingless plane as it plunges to Earth. They catch it midair and see the pilot has ejected safely. Once I saw the pilot bail out, I chased him to make sure that he was going to open his parachute because he was a student. I pilot Blake Whedon knows sure he can land there. his plane. As he descends, he's anxiously searching for parachutes. It's kind of a joke now, but it was actually one of my better landings. <laughs> On the ground, a joyful reunion. Very, very lucky. Yeah, anytime two planes collide in the air, um, I mean, it's, it's a potential disaster for everybody involved. Nice to have you guys here. Days nice. later on Raise NBC's Today Show. Raise your hands now if you'll get back in a plane and skydive again. Not, really? Not Every last Andrew. one is determined the jump they believed might be their last ah! won't be. Robin Stickley, Global News, Washington.